We begin with the plight of Julian Assange, the co-founder of transparency organization WikiLeaks. Tomorrow marks three years that Assange will have spent in detention, though he has never been officially charged with a crime. On December 7, 2010, the transparency advocate was taken to a British prison cell. Sweden had issued a European arrest warrant for Assange because he was wanted for questioning in a sexual misconduct case. Assange feared that from Sweden he would be extradited to the United States to face charges for releasing hundreds of thousands of documents containing American state secrets. While Assange made bail 10 days later, he was under house arrest for 550 days as he continued his appeals process to avoid extradition. When the last of his appeals failed, Assange walked into the Ecuadorian embassy in London seeking political asylum in June of 2012. He was granted that asylum from the Ecuadorian embassy in August, but has no way to make it to the South American country because there are around-the-clock guards outside the embassy ready to arrest Assange should he step off the property. And that's where Assange remains, the Ecuadorian embassy, three years after this whole legal saga began. And every year, Barbara Walters does an ABC special in which she highlights who she thinks are the 10 most fascinating people of the year. This year, that list was expected to include everyone from Miley Cyrus to Pope Francis. But perhaps the most interesting of her picks was Edward Snowden. According to the New York Daily News, Walters had a particular fascination with the former NSA contractor. And at one point, she believed he would be chosen as Times Time Magazine's Person of the Year, as did many other people. But even though Walters originally granted Snowden the top spot on that list, executives at ABC later nixed the idea of giving Snowden that honor. Some people have speculated that the reason he can't take the top spot is because he's not, quote, interviewable, that ABC, ABC will only pick people they can have access to. Snowden is, of course, currently seeking asylum in Russia and not exactly talking to the press. But a network spokesperson has already refuted that, saying, people are fascinating no matter if we interview them or not. The most fascinating decision is not made based on who we interview. And so why Snowden was snubbed the number one place will remain a mystery.